Renaud Durand, I love my parents. I love my parents. Renaud Durand. Okay, I hated my parents. For Andre and Manon, nothing made sense. Renault, don't eat candies for supper. Renault, son, don't watch Star Wars all night. Renault, broccoli tastes good. What? Mr. Chair, fellow Toastmasters, let's be honest here. We all hated our parents at least once in our life. And at 17, I hated mine so much, I had to do what my three older brothers did. So long, census rules and parents, you are no longer required. So my dad gave me a ride to the nearest recruiting center, and I joined the Canadian forces, and I traveled across Canada. I wasn't calling, I wasn't visiting, I wasn't emailing or texting. Why would I? I was free. Now I was eating candies for supper. I was watching Star Wars all night. And ladies and gentlemen, I was not eating broccoli, unless covered with cheese. That's it. One day I stopped and said to myself, being an adult is awesome. You can do whatever you want. And you know what? No one shall take away your freedom. And then I got married. Now, we still had candies in the house, but they were no longer considered a meal. In movies, spaceships were replaced by Ryan Gosling's. And broccoli, ladies and gentlemen, was back on the diet. And I insisted on having cheese. But I was in love with Sophie. And we took comfort in knowing we would always be there for each other. And you know what? Tell the truth. We were free. We were doing whatever we wanted. And this time, we said, no one shall take away our freedom. And then she got pregnant. I'm going to be a dad. I'm going to be a dad. I was so nervous. I started talking to baby Alec while oiling her belly. Hello, Alec. I cannot wait to see you. But please, on the way out, be careful with mommy. And he wasn't. <laughs> ah! <laughs> you did this to me! <laughs> Screamed Satan while possessing Sophie. And three hours later, <gasps> baby Alec was born. Now as I looked down on my son, I whispered, Hello, Alec. And his newborn eyes looked right back at me. I was not expecting that. Only a few minutes old, and he already recognized my voice. At that time, my life changed. There were no more candies in the house. We were way too tired for Ryan Gosling's. And ladies and gentlemen, broccoli was everywhere. <laughs> now, good thing we had a lot of cheese to cover it. But I was in love with my little guy. Even at 3 a.m. for the better part of two years. We were exhausted, and we only had one kid. My parents had four. My love for my parents grew deeper this time. Nourished by the respect I now gave them for raising me and my three older brothers. And for the first time in many years, I deeply miss them. Now recently, I lost my grandmother. And I remember at the funeral, I was giving my sympathies to Grandpa. And Grandpa replied, ha, with a shaking head. Nah. During the speeches, I sat right behind my dad. And there, I saw it. Gray hairs and a small almost unnoticeable, shaking head. I glanced at my mom only to notice the same gray hair. And as I stared at my grandma's yarn, I realized time with mom and dad was now limited. 
I knew one day they would be gone, and there was nothing I could do about it. I never felt so lonely in my entire life, and my love for them grew deeper once more, fueled this time by my fear of losing them. The circle of life. My parents raised me as a little baby, and in return, I took them for granted. From raising baby Alec, I started to appreciate my parents' hard work. Good job. And one day, Alec will have kids of his own. And at that moment, I will watch with my own shaking head, my parents slowly fade away as new generations are born. You see, the love we have for our parents matures through life. And the luckiest of us will only have this short window to express that love before it's too late. To the Toastmasters, for whom it is not too late, you're going to call your parents tonight and thank them. And you're going to tell them that they are the cheese to your broccoli. Because without them, life just doesn't taste as good. Mr. Chips.